This is one of my favorite movies, so it better put me in a better mood. <laughs> I'm in like a weird mood today, guys. So thank goodness I'm watching a movie that I like. <laughs> Welcome back! What's up guys? It's Ange and today we're gonna be watching Rise of the Guardians! Okay, I don't know how you guys feel about this movie, but I love it. I watched it for the first time back in like, actually it wasn't that long ago. When I was 15, actually that was a long time ago. It was a few years after it came out and I heard nothing about it, but me and my sister were like, oh, we've never seen this before. Let's just watch it. We love animation. And it ended up blowing our expectations. So it may not be everyone's favorite movie, but it's my favorite movie, one of them. And I can't explain why, I just like it. And I hope that I can convince you that this movie is better than it actually is because I think it's great and magical and cute and all things an animation should be. So before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content. I post three times a week. Week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Also, what are your favorite Christmas movies? This is like kind of like a Christmassy movie. It has like other themes in there, but it's like a majority of Christmas movie. Tell me your favorite Christmas films down below because I clearly have not watched many of them. So let me know so I can make them into a commentary this year. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Darkness. It was dark. Okay, not gonna lie, it looks pretty bright to me. Oh my god, that was literally his birth. Also, Chris Pine for this role, 10 out of 10. Man's got a nice voice, that's all I'm saying. Also, like, why do I have a crush on Jack Frost? <laughs> He's such a cutie. Whoa, whoa. Man's is the better Elsa, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's gorgeous, look at that. I also love how his cloak has little ice accents on it, on the ends of them, the edges. And he can fly. I mean, come on. I don't know if it's so much flying or like controlling the wind, but is there a difference? Hello, hello. Can you tell me where I am? Oh yeah, no one can see him. My name is Jack Frost. The moon told me so. Remember that, the moon. The moon literally created all of them. Just kind of weird, but also like, goaded. Sun be taking all the credit sometimes. The moon needed something. You just broke his ice project. Oh my gosh, you literally look like Chewie. Hi, Santa. You're looking a little bit scarier than I remember you. But honestly, Santa would be a badass. <laughs> Fun fact, the boogeyman is voiced by Jude Law. I might need to be fact checked because that might be completely wrong, but I know Jude Law is in this movie. <laughs> Guys, isn't it weird that we keep our fallen out teeth underneath our pillows at night? Who came up with that? And why did we do it as children? Sandman is my favorite character. Specifically because Sandman's animation is Amazing. Look at this. Hugh Jackman. Again, looking way too badass as compared to the Easter Bunny that I imagined. Although, to be fair, I've never actually believed in the Easter Bunny. The boogeyman was here. There was black sand covering the globe. I thought you said you saw pitch. Uh, not exactly. I feel it in my belly. You mean to say you summoned me here three days before Easter because of your belly? Gotta listen to the man's gut. You, you expect me to believe that he knows every kid personally? No, it's all based on his gut, probably. Oh god, yep. That's one accurate looking shadow, okay? What the heck is that? Tell me that doesn't remind you of the Goblet of Fire. He's chosen a new guardian. I wonder who it's gonna be. Please not the Grand Oak, please not the Grand Oak. The Grand Oak. He's like, I, can, I need to be the only furry creature here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now that, that was fun. Oh, he's just a little menace in society. I love it. He, he doesn't take life so seriously to the point where man's don't even wear shoes. Oh, this is his season. He gets to make it snow and make it cold. He's excited. Snow day. <laughs> that is not nearly enough snow for it to be a snow day. If there was once a half foot of snow outside and they still made us went to school. Y'all don't know childhood, like staying up the night before and watching the snow 
like school predictability calculator on your phones, refreshing that ish, watching the percentage go up, and then school actually being canceled the next day? Y'all don't know childhood if you don't know what I'm talking about. That was the best feeling in the world. Who's Jack Frost? Yeah, show him. Oh, this is so cute. Oh gosh, that literally seems terrifying though. Don't hurt someone. Oh, what a cute little moment. This slow-mo shot, are you kidding me? I did a jump in and I slid under <laughs> Oh, whoops. Dude, that can literally kill him. Are you kidding me? A couch? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what about all the fun we just had? That wasn't the tooth fairy. That was me. Oh, man. No one believes in Jack Frost, though, because he's not that popular. But Tooth Fairy is, like, really popular. Again, I don't know why anyone would have believed about the Tooth Fairy. See, who could not love Jack Frost? He just wants to have fun and be happy and make sure kids are happy. I've tried everything and... No one ever sees me. You put me here. Oh. Tell me why. Tell him why. Oh, gosh. He's sad boy hours. Literally, look how scary he is. Pitch black. You kidding me? In my nightmares. Don't look at me like that, old friend. You must have known this day would come. The moon doesn't have a face, okay? So he can't look at you. But I'll look at you like that. Oh, oh gosh. Hello, mate. <laughs> hey. Hey, oh, Did you have to put him in a sack? See you back at the pole. You kidding me? These two Je Chewbacca snow yeti looking things have literal teleportation powers, and you chose to go underground? Am I on the naughty list? You hold the record. You hold the record. I'm dead. You are guardian. Yay! Congratulations! Stop, there's a whole ceremony happening. I'm dead. Oh my god, they rehearsed this ish. <laughs> They're like demanding him, like, cover the toes, dude. We don't want to see your dogs. What makes you think I want to be a guardian? Um, you don't really have a choice. The moon said so. Music! No music! <laughs> so very Little elf said, I quit. Oh, I love the animation of the Tooth Fairy, how they like kind of mixed her with that hummingbird aesthetic where it's like really fast and staticky. So what if someone knocks a tooth out of me? No, the train of thought, train crashed. I don't want to finish it anymore. I, I think we just dodged a bullet. I mean, what's this clown know about bringing joy to children anyway? You ever hear of a snow day? Facts. Yeah, hands down. Oh, tell it like it is. Snow days are the best. Literally some of my favorite moments from my childhood. If you've never experienced a snow day, bro, I'm so sorry. If you're not a kangaroo, what are you? The Easter Bunny. People believe in me. That was that you crossed the line there. Well, go on. There's a tiny wooden baby. Look closer. You have big eyes. Yes, because they are full of wonder. That's why he's like a child, because he has not lost that wonder, that hope. I love that moment so much. Are you kidding me? The camera panning around all the things that are flying. That tell me that's not so cute. There's no way I'm climbing into some rickety old <gasps> The sleigh? Let's go! We love it! Bunny, what are you waiting for? I think my tunnels might be faster, mate. Oh, you're just scared of flying? I love it. Hey bunny, check out this view! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, you do care. Uh, rack off, you bloody show pony! <laughs> yeah! I love Jack Frost. What a tease, and I love it. Yeah, I'm a show pony, and you best love me for it. What? Ooh! Oh my gosh, that literally scared me. <laughs> They're taking the tooth fairy! <gasps> oh my gosh, it's eating the little hummingbirds. The tooth palace is kind of incredible. This looking more dope than Santa's factory, not gonna lie. They're stealing the teeth! Why would they steal the teeth? That's like kind of weird. Pitch black. Are you trying to tell us something? Teeth are gross, bro. And like, you know, like the, the roots of them and like sometimes they have like some blood left on them. Blech. The big four. I'm a little starstruck. I like how his voice echoes. Baby, I'm tired of hiding under beds. That's where you belong. Go suck an egg, rabbit. Go suck an egg. Mic drop. Pitch black, yo, with the lines. Is that Jack Frost? I'm gonna ignore you, but you must be used to that by now. <gasps> Yo, 
no! That's also a good insult. Are you kidding me? Really? He's hitting it where it hurts. Children are waking up and realizing the tooth fairy never came. They don't believe in me anymore. Didn't they tell you, Jack? If enough kids stop believing, it all goes away. And little by little, so do they. No Christmas or Easter. Okay, newsflash, pitch black. Christmas and Easter have like nothing to do with like magic, all right? They're literal religious holidays. So pick on holidays that don't got historical backgrounds and faith already embedded into them, okay? Why would Pitch take the teeth? It's not the teeth he wanted. It's the memories inside them. What? Oh, that makes so much sense. We had everyone's here. Yours too. My memories? Before you became Jack Frost. I wasn't anyone before I was Jack Frost. Oh my gosh, I kind of forgot this too. You have to show me. I can't, Jack. Pitch has them. Then we have to get them back. <gasps> oh gosh. But she's dying because no kid believes in her. We're too late. No. Idea. <laughs> Get careful where you point that thing, sir. We get teeth. Children keep believing in you. If you help us, we will get you your memories. We love the incentive. Let's do this. I'm in. Yay! Teamwork! You're a guardian, pretty much. I love how they're making a little competition out of this. What a great montage. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! He's one of us. Part of the European division. The European division? You guys have mice as your tooth finders? Uh, but why? You guys collect teeth and leave gifts as fast as my fairies. Oh gosh, y'all didn't leave gifts. <laughs> Dude, we got no time to be installing full on Christmas trees in every kid's room, please. Okay, literally those horse nightmare monster things are pretty scary. Why did I ever stop doing this? I mean, you literally have like 7 billion people in the world. That's all I'm saying. Yeah! Oh god! Santa Claus. He can see us? He can't see you though. No one believes in you yet, Jack. You know this. Sandy, knock him out. Oh! Ah! Sandy! Oh, they're all sleeping. Oh my gosh, scary, don't look at us. We're just napping together like a real cute group. Okay, can you wake everyone up though? Like, oh. <laughs> oh gosh, be careful. <gasps> oh, you stole the portal thing? Uh, uh, girly? Oh, uh, that's not good. She could have fell in the Mariana's trench for all we know. She doesn't know how to work that thing. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, you did. Yo, that's epic. Look at that. That's so cool looking. <gasps> Frost? Black? Whoa! Why do you care about the teeth? <gasps> <laughs> yeah, you better be scared of Sandman. <gasps> oh, shoot. He said whips. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And he said pickaxe, I guess. Whoa! Oh. Yo, yo. <laughs> Someone get Sandman a medal. Take the ones on the left, I'll take the ones on the right? What do you mean right or left? Yours guy, you guys are literally surrounded. Ooh. <gasps> That's literally amazing. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Sandman MVP. Low key? Why does Jack Frost have Ugwe staff? Like that's literally Ugwe staff. I mean Jack Frost. Ugwe. Same person, am I right? No! I almost forgot that he like deceases. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Poor the Sandman. I'd say sweet dreams, but there aren't any left. Yeah, if you get Sandman, then he can't give the kids any good dreams, which are literally is the worst. You're taking out the MVP, which makes their life a lot harder. <laughs> Yo, tell me when this became an anime. Did you see that? How did you do that? I didn't know I could. Yeah, that was like a moment. You know what I'm talking about. Where's that from? Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Naruto? I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Rip Sandman. He's li you guys are screwed because he's literally the best one of the group. We can still turn this around. Easter is tomorrow. And I need your help. Easter's tomorrow? How convenient. Okay, this is pretty cool. Although I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of like floor burn from it. 
Why do the eggs have legs? Ah! Oh! <laughs> She's having fun with the eggs! Look at all the pretty teeth! There's little blood and gum on them! It's a really disgusting blood and gum. When was the last time you guys actually hung out with kids? You wanna paint some eggs? Yeah? Ah! Oh, so cute! Yeah, this is what y'all are about. I think I've only participated in like one egg hunt in my life. And I grew up in church. Oh, this is so cute. I didn't know the eggs were alive though. It's a little bit grotesque considering kids usually either crack them open or smash them to eat them. I know that voice. Yeah, who's literally saying Jack to you? What the? Jack! Dude, that's literally so creepy. Why are you following the voice? No, that's a bed. Don't worry, there's, there's still time. What do you mean, don't worry? There's random furniture in the middle of the woods and you're telling me not to worry. Yeah. Oh, hell no. You're gonna go in to the dark cave. Oh yeah, this is like pitch black slayer. Looking for something? I'm not afraid of you. But you are afraid of something. You think so, huh? You're afraid of disappointing them. They'll never accept you. Gosh, you're being so mean. After all, you're not one of them. Yeah, you're not one of them either. What can you do, really? Just a little, some shadow puppetry? That's your power, bro. Happy Easter, Jack. <gasps> there aren't any eggs. There's nothing. Yes, there is. There is. I mean, these are my best looking googies, but they'll do in a pinch. There's no such thing as the Easter Bunny. Oh, they don't believe in him. They can't see him. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Jack, where were you? The nightmares attacked the tunnels. They smashed every egg. No, that's horrible. Where did you get that? You were with Peach? Okay, he tricked me, Loki. He was calling my name. He was like, Jack. And then I was like, oh my God, someone needs my help or someone is calling for me. And then all of a sudden it's daytime. I didn't mean to. I didn't even- he just shoved this in my face too. I didn't even mean it. Oh no, he dropped the wonder toy thing. Oh gosh, did you go all the way to Antarctica? Mans really went all the way to Antarctica just to chuck his memories off a cliff. That's why I love Jack Frost, bro. He's so dramatic. You don't understand anything! I don't know what it's like to be cast out! To long for a family. All those years in the shadows, I thought no one else knows what this feels like. But now I see I was wrong. Ew, don't try to get me on your team. Are you trying to recruit me now? After you put all the blame on me? Look at what we can do. That's pretty true. I mean, that looks pretty epic. Oh, gosh. You look like you're about to Lenny the ish out of him. The staff, Jack. Now hand it over and I'll let her go. Yeah, take it. Take my staff. Oh my gosh. Is it the staff that gives you power? I've read that totally. I thought it was like just to you. All the frost leaving the staff once he let goes of it is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Crush my dreams. Why don't you? Uh, yo, yo, the, the biggest mistake was dropping that staff into that cave. Are you kidding me, Pitch Black? I know you're stupid, but you're not that stupid. Pitch was right. No, Pitch is not right. He's absolutely wrong. Memories. Show him his memories. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Oh, Baby Tooth knows what's up. Go watch him. See the person you were. This is why you were chosen. Oh, that's gorgeous. That transition? Are you kidding me with that? Hello? Be careful. We will. Oh, that's why he has no shoes. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna literally cry. You have to believe in me. Believe in me. <gasps> I get it. I totally forgot about that. Three. Ah! Oh, oh. And that's when he got hyperthermia and died. Uh, good transition. That's why you chose me. Yeah. You help kids. You make them feel happy. You give them hope. You save their lives. You got this. Yes. I love it. Believe. Believe. You're all free to go! Pitch Black, you're being a little dramatic, okay? <laughs> yeah, you wish you got that last kid. You wish. Jamie. <gasps> Jamie! 
Jamie! Oh yes, I'm so ready for this. Jamie still believes. If you are real, then you have to prove it. Oh man, Jamie. The fact that the fate of the entire world lies on this little kid who is talking to his stuffed rabbit? Kind of incredible. I just spit. <laughs> yeah, that best to be proof enough. Jack, I didn't know you were a freaking artiste. I didn't know you could make little animations like that. Jack Frost. <gasps> yeah. Oh, can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. That's so cute. Oh, <laughs> what a moment. I love this. Who doesn't like that moment? There's literally no one who could have watched that and not thought that moment was so cute. When Jack Frost is like, you can see me. <laughs> Tell me you hate this movie. They'll come after you. Imagine you're going your whole life not knowing what you were meant to do. But you kept doing it. You were, you were doing what you were meant to do. But you didn't realize how important that was. Until this moment. Oh, it's so good. Where's Bunny? He's kind of cute this way, though. Bunny, you should just stay like that. Is that rude? Jack Frost. I mean, you shouldn't be surprised. You handed me the staff. You gave it back to me. All this fuss over one little boy, and still he refuses to stop believing. There are other ways to snuff out a light. Are you insinuating schmurder? I'm scared. Uh, oh, I get it. Because she said she was scared, too. We're gonna have a little fun instead. That's my center. <laughs> Yo, Jamie's like, what the F are you talking about? Oh, I remember what happens. The snowball, yes! Ah, get God, bro. You know in like Harry Potter when they go ridiculous and they turn their fears into something funny? That was like that moment. Oh, it's about to be so much fun. Oh, I love this. Jamie, how are you doing that? Jack Frost. Oh, that's awesome. Go get your friendos. Oh my gosh. That's a tsunami of black sand. I hate it. We'll protect you, mate. But who will protect you? Oh gosh, that's true. They're literally getting so weak. Jamie's like, I will. I will. Oh my gosh, I totally guessed that. Oh, they're gonna protect each other. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just not afraid of you. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. <gasps> oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, he stood up to his fears, literally. Oh, I love how the kids are able to change the bad dreams into the good dreams, like into the hope and the wonder. That makes so much sense because it's literally in the kids' hands. So when the kids, ha like, take on the fears straight on, they have the power to make something magical, to bring hope to the world. I love that. I literally, I love that so much. Oh, yeah, Sandy is back, my man! Yeah, bringing the dreams back! This is one of my favorite scenes in animation history ever. Oh, this is so pretty! Oh, and now they get to actually hang out with the kids, too. I am the boogeyman! You will fear me! Ah, uh, but they can't see you! Oh, shoot, yo! Get out of here, dude! As long as one child believes, we will be here to fight fear. Then what are they doing here? Looks like it's your fear, they smell. Yeah, get God, bro. Talk about karma. That's such a great, satisfying ending. Come on. Congratulations, Jack Frost, for you are now a guardian. Yeah, he is. Oh, I love it. You're a guardian, sir. Time to go. You're leaving? What if we stop believing again? If I can't see you... Hey, you tell me you stop believing in the moon when the sun comes up. Are you kidding me? That's such a good line. <laughs> You're so cute. Bye, kiddos. My name is Jack Frost, and I'm a guardian. The moon told me so. So when the moon tells you something, believe it. Okay. That was Rise of the Guardians. That ending line, if when the moon tells you something, like, believe it. They're not talking about, the, like, the literal moon, you know, obviously. But when your head is filled with, you know, these hopes, these dreams, these wonders, don't let anyone rain on your parade. Like, I don't know, it's just so magical. It just always puts me in a happy mood when, like, that, that movie plays. Like, it doesn't have to be about 
Santa or it doesn't have to be about the Easter Bunny. It doesn't have to be about any of that. I feel like when you let fear and nightmares and anything negative get to you, it's literally so destructive. It's horrible. It's dark and it's not pleasant. But when you're able to face it head head on, I guess kind of like bring yourself out of that with hope and wonder and whatever that means for you. I can't even articulate it. It's just adorable. And the way that the the movie made it into a like innocent wholesome childlike wonder makes me as an adult watching this that much more satisfying i think because i get so lost in the adult living and when things every little thing in my life is just so calculated in particular and not wonderful yeah watching stuff like this really just makes me feel so happy and makes me think about how important it is for us to remain hopeful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content, and don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this movie and also more Christmas movies. I have like one or two that I haven't figured out for this month yet, so let me know. Alrighty, y'all. Have the bestest day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye.